So, Kerry, you, you, you say this rink was really, at least at some crucial point in your life, a, a home away from home or maybe a family away from, from the family, too. How, what, what did that mean exactly? The people that skate in the rink are just so much more than just the staff. Uh, the kids that work for the skate and rink are hired so that they can have employment opportunities as opposed to uh, perhaps garnishing money in unsavory or illegal means. Uh, and they've extended themselves to many more people, if not all of their patrons. Like, it, like I said, it's a family away from, from, from my own home family. And I think that a lot of the people, especially the kids in that community, who may not have families at all, uh, need a place where they can go and feel loved, get a hug, you know, as they're putting on their roller skates. I've also heard stories, um, sometimes told with a certain amount of amazement, is that you could have people attracted to this rink who might be the scariest characters in the world. You, you're convinced they're going to make trouble, and, and they don't. Right. Why is that? The skating rink is owned and operated by Greer Tony. Greer Tony is a woman who, for everyone in the community, is, is a mother figure. Um, those kids that may be on the other side of the fence, who may be uh, attracted to illegal activity, will leave that at the door because there's a certain level of respect that's given to her. She gives hugs and the community embraces her back. And I think that the kids, regardless to the experiences that they have outside of the skating rink, don't want to bring that inside the skating rink. They want to give her the same respect and, and love that she gives other people. Yes, there's the warmth and there's respect, but I guess you've got to put up the money to make sure there's security there and be really responsible about things too. Right. Yes, there's definitely a security team in place, um, but like I said, once you walk into the door to the skating rink, there seems to be a kind of understanding that whatever problems we have or whatever uh, altercations that we've had on the outside stays on the outside. Unfortunately, oftentimes, once they leave that skating rink, those altercations are resumed, which is why you have the problems that you have, the homicide rates, etc. I'm convinced, though, that the skating rink is certainly responsible for quelling the violence and lowering those levels of uh, fatalities that could be of epic proportions here in the city. And, and this has been a, a connecting point so that, that it's not just people who work in the rink but other adults, uh, people who are leaders in the community, uh, people who run programs that can help kids. This is a place where they can make that connection too. Yes. There's a lot of networking that goes on there. Sunday nights, as a matter of fact, is the adult state skate session, which I usually attend when I'm in town. And it's enjoyable to see adults bringing in their families who were kids that I saw growing up in the skating rink. Um, I've met a lot of great people there. A lot of politicians have come in and, and, and shaken hands. And there's, there's, aside from the whole family piece, there's a lot of um, just camaraderie and community that goes on beyond even the borders of the adjacent neighborhoods. You have people from Rhode Island, Connecticut, even as far away from New York, that come to the skating rink to uh, just have a good time. It definitely attracts people from all walks of life, all races, and that's pretty evident uh, in the patrons that walk through those doors. I know uh, that's something that people who go there know very well, but explain for our audience, uh, because if, if you live in, let's say, one of the neighborhoods surrounding the rink, uh, it's a totally different world. You don't bump into people from other parts of the city or other parts of the state. It's, it's a whole other world. Right. It's um, definitely like the United Nations. You know, you walk in the, the, uh, onto the property of the United Nations in Manhattan, and technically you're no longer in the United States. And there's definitely that kind of utopian feeling going on in the skating rink where the surrounding community is embraced, but there's a community within the skating rink that embraces everyone. What about the, the ability of this rink to um, hang in over the long haul? I know there was a short-term problem recently, but uh, there, there were the expenses for fire extinguishers, which is because of the nightclub fire in Rhode Island. Yes. Uh, and I've read about uh, these roller skating rinks closing down in some other cities. Uh, so uh, it looks as if it, this might be a struggle. It's going to be, um, but I'm confident that the people of the community, the people of the city of Boston, will understand and appreciate the importance of the skating rink's existence. 
Uh, it's, it's saved a lot of lives, and more importantly than that, well, not more importantly, but equally as important, it's just a fun place to be. And to lose it would just be something that I believe a lot of people would, would, would miss. What would it take to, to put things um, at least to where they're steadily moving forward? Consistent community support. Um, there's a lot of patrons that come regularly. You have regular skaters that they don't miss a Sunday night or a Saturday night at the skating rink. I think a broader awareness of the skating rink's uniqueness um, would increase patronage. And I think uh, a better understanding of what goes on in the skating rink, because I think that the public doesn't have the appreciation of the skating rink that the patrons do. And uh, as I say, uh, there, there are analogies in other neighborhoods. I know when uh, Bella Luna had the, the bowling alley that they, mm -hmm. they recently had to move out of, that was a loss. And, right. and that was, uh, you know, people need to get out of the house and right. mix it up a little bit. It gives the kids something to do. I think that one of the reasons that, uh, particularly in this city, that a lot of the young people uh, find themselves in situations like gangs or other illegal activities is out of boredom. You know, there aren't a whole lot of things for kids to do in this city, which is unfortunate. I think that there's not enough focus on providing the youth with an alternative to violence, some kind of escapism, and I think that Shevru offers that and is unique in doing so. One serious bump in the road here, there was a scheduled appearance by, by Bow Wow, and when, it, when I was at the Charles Yancey Book Fair uh, early this month, the kids were looking forward to that. I, I could hear that in the audience. Yes. It didn't happen, so what does this mean? Um, Shevru has hosted a Peace Night at Shevru, which is an event that Greer, Tony, and I put together last August. Uh, it was an event that was to promote community cohesion uh, obviously, we were pushing the, the anti-violence piece and even uh, talking to the kids about the importance of, of, of mobilization and voting. It was a successful project. We had a rapper come in from New York City and shoot a music video. The kids loved it. Everybody had a good time, but at the same time, they were being educated on community affairs. The attempt to duplicate that message was done with another piece, Night at Shevu, which was to feature the recording artist Bow Wow. Of course, he didn't show up, and his absence created a sense of emptiness among the patrons, in addition to the fact that Greer put up the mortgage for this particular event because she wanted so much for the artist to come out and speak to the kids about the issues that they needed to hear. Um, that incident kind of snowballed the situation that we're in now because the mortgage since the mortgage was used to pay for the event, money had to be returned to the patrons, and a huge financial loss was made. Right. Serious problem. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Carrie Singleton for the Shave Roller Skating Ring. We'll have more news in a moment. All right, well, thank you.